In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated image carousel in Figma. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Here, as you can see, I already prepared a few Apple Watch images and also a text group that includes a title and a subtitle. The first thing we need to do is to create a frame. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and I'm going to create a custom size frame. Let's set the width and height to 500 pixels, just like that. And now I'm going to select all these images and put them inside this frame. Let me move them down just like this. But the point is we should only see one watch at a time. So I'm going to select this frame one here and I'm going to make sure that this clip content checkbox is selected. Otherwise, we will be able to see these watches. So make sure to check this checkbox. Okay, I think we can move this image up a little bit. Whenever you want to move this image up, you need to make sure to select all other images as well. Okay, so I'm going to select them all and move them up. What do we need here? Right under this image, we need to have this indicator. And you may think we need to have a few circles and one rectangle, but that's wrong. Why? Because look what happens here. When I drag this image, you see what happens? This first indicator becomes a circle and this second one becomes a rectangle. To create such an indicator, we need to use a rectangle from the beginning. We don't need any circle. So let me create a rectangle here, just like this. Make it very small, maybe 28 by 8, something like that. And make it completely rounded. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to duplicate it, hit Ctrl D or Command D move it to the right side and now this one should be a circle. To do that, we just need to make sure that the width and height are the same. So I'm going to decrease the width to 8, all right, and now I'm going to duplicate it once again and put it right there, okay? Now I'm going to select them all and I'm going to add other layout to them. So hit Shift and A, there we go. Let me rename it to Indicator, just like this. And this first one, the selected one, should be a little bit darker. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker as well, just like this. And our indicator is also ready. Let me align it to the center. I can move it up a little bit. And the next thing we need is the text layers. So I'm going to bring them down here. Let's align it to the center and I'm going to move it up a little bit. So we created our main frame. Now it's time to animate this frame. And to do that, we are going to use variants and interactive components as usual. I'm going to select this frame one and I'm going to turn it into a component and I'm going to add one variant to it just like this. Let me select this component set and change the property name to slide. And this first variant is going to be one. This second one is going to be Two. We will add another one in a few seconds, but first let's see what we need to do here. So if I just preview this carousel, you can see that when I drag this image to the left side, it starts to rotate just like this. And then the next watch enters the frame rotating as well, right? Just like this. So here's what we need to do. We have our starting point here and it's fine. For this second variant, I'm going to select all these images, even those that are outside this frame. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and using the arrow keys, I'm going to move them to the left side, just like this. Until we see our second watch. Okay. Next, I'm going to select this one, align it to the center horizontally. Good. But now we just move them without any rotation. To make that rotation effect happen, I'm going to select this first one and I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees. So hold down the shift key and try to rotate it here by 30 degrees. Alternatively, you can just specify the value here, okay? But what about this one? Here, as you can see, when I try to drag it to the left side, the pink watch also rotates, right? So to make that happen, I need to head over to my first variant here. I'm going to select the second one, which is our pink watch, and I'm going to rotate it to minus 30 degrees, just like this. So our first and second variants are ready. Now we need one more variant. I'm going to select the second one and hit this plus button to add one more variant. And this one is going to be number three. Okay. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to select all these images just like that. Hold down the shift key and move them to the left side. There we go. Now I'm going to select this yellow watch 
and align it to the center. Select this pink watch here, number two, and rotate it by 30 degrees, just like that. As you can see here, we have 30. And in the second variant, we should also rotate this third watch. We need to rotate it to minus 30 degrees. All right, but what about our indicator? The first one is already done. I'm gonna zoom in here. And for the second one, what I'm gonna do is this. We cannot simply move this one to the right side. Why? Because here, as you can see, when I try to drag this watch to the left side, just like that, this indicator, the first one, transforms to a circle. I'm not changing their position here. And that's exactly what we need to do. I'm gonna select this second one. I'm gonna go to design and I'm gonna set its width to 28 just like what we have here. And I'm gonna change its color to this dark gray. And then I'm gonna select this one, the first one, and set its width to eight, okay? And change its color to this light gray. And we need to do the same thing here as well. So I'm gonna select this indicator and I'm gonna select this third one, increase the width to 28, just like that. Change its color to dark gray Select this one, set its width to eight, and just change its color back to light gray. All right, cool. For this example, I'm not gonna change these text layers such as color. It's gonna be so simple. You can just set it to pink, green, and yellow. The main point you need to learn here is how to animate this watch and also this indicator. And in case you face difficulties moving these watches around, especially when you cannot see these watches outside, what you can do is this. You can hit Shift and O to enter the outline view. And now as you can see, even these watches outside this frame are visible to you. And it's gonna be so helpful when you wanna move them around, okay? And to get back to the normal mode, you can hit Shift O again. All right, but what about the connections? So here's what you need to do. Many people, when they wanna create this drag animation, make a very common mistake. They select their variant here, for example, this one, variant one, and then they try to connect it to the next one and they just change the trigger to drag. That's not gonna work. If you just connect these two variants like that, the drag animation won't work as you expected. So instead, you need to select this image, this one, and then try to create a connection between these two. So now I'm gonna set the trigger to on drag. It's gonna be smart animate, 300 milliseconds looks fine. Let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna select this one, connect it back to the first variant. It's gonna be on drag again, and let's connect this one to the third one on drag and the third one to the second one, it's gonna be on drag. And we are basically done. Let's give it a try and see how it looks. I'm gonna create a custom size frame here, 500 by 500 pixels, just like this. And from assets, I'm gonna look for animated image carousel and drag and drop this into this frame, align it both horizontally and vertically. You can go ahead and put it inside any frame you want, but for this example, I prefer to put it inside this frame and just preview it. All right, let's see if it works. There we go, it works just fine. Our indicator is animated and also we have this rotation effect here for these watches. In case you wanna use this image carousel on a mobile phone, what you can do is this, you can create a mobile phone frame here, for example, iPhone 14, just like that, and then just drag and drop it inside and simply hit K and scale it down, just like this. And it would work perfectly. If I just select this mobile frame and preview it, you can see that it works just fine. That's the beauty of using interactive components. If you wanna level up your UI design skills, you might also wanna check out this video on the screen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Have an awesome day and see you next time.